Hi, I'm Matthew Wozni, a senior at Harvard studying history and literature, and this past fall I took science and cooking. For my final project, I looked at New England clam chowder. I selected five recipes, the earliest dating back to 1751, and the most recent being Nathan Muirgold's modernist clam chowder from just a couple of years back. I followed these recipes and then I measured the viscosities of each respective recipe at 17 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius. I did this not only to explore how different thickeners and ingredients affect the clam chowder's viscosity, but also to discover how the thickness of clam chowder has shifted over time, over historical time. And here's what I learned. I learned that combinations of thickeners, such as milk and potatoes, or as another example, potatoes and heavy cream and butter, are more effective than their individual thickeners, but I also learned that flour as an individual thickener is the most effective of all in New England clam chowder. Now in spite of my hypothesis that the viscosity of clam chowder should increase as better technologies are created and implemented and new thickeners are accepted, I actually discovered that the viscosity has declined substantially over historical time. In other words, New England clam chowder has gotten thinner, not thicker. So, I concluded that thickeners have been used not to thicken better, but to create better texture and flavor in New England clam chowder over the past 250 years. A secondary bonus to reading recipes for this project meant that I was also able to deconstruct New England clam chowder. To, in other words, to discover what's really necessary for each clam chowder from 1751 to today. Namely, I learned there are four things. Uh, bacon, onions, some sort of thickener, and clams. Using both this information and the regression model I produced using my data from the measured viscosities, I engineered what a New England clam chowder of the future might look like. That recipe was presented at the Science Fair in December. Thanks very much.